Well, it feels like another day, right? <laughs> this is what you're saying now to yourself here. You are looking forward to either to have some mini getaway. So there's a vacation card over here. And then there's also like moving on from a situation, meaning you just woke up one day and you say, it's like, okay, I'm down for the whole new life. It's 2024. I want to enjoy myself. I feel like the relationship has been a dudville, the Six of Swords. And you are pursuing other things in your life, King of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles, which means like you are more money focused. We love that. We love that you have your goals ahead of you. You're lining, lining your ducks in a row. Okay, Taurus, welcome to my channel. I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career, finances, and your relationship. Okay, so let's see what you guys have for me. I, oh, and if you want to download our app, it's free. It's down there. If you want to know about personal readings, what goes under the sun, you can thank me later. There's amazing deals also in our app, available in Apple and Android. If for people who are new, Eat Read Love is a jewelry brand, okay? And our store is located in Los Angeles. And I, I do readings here, here and there. So I have the sun card here with a chariot and a six of swords. Mm -hmm. It's the distance, it could be a long distance relationship here, six of swords, the chariot, and the sun card. And the way I see this is more of, let me see, king of wands, ten of pentacles, and the knight of swords. It feels like you really know your priorities right now, which we love that. The king of wands and the ten of pentacles is showing that you are very passionate with making money. And I, you know, I'll recommend, you know, this is my love, uh, my money bracelet right here. I'll talk about it later. The King of Wands with the Sun card, it's showing progress, but you see progress elsewhere. Because the Sun is like, it's not a pruding, but it's more of like, you just have a new vision in life. And I like it. It's, it's, it's not grounded because you can decide on anything right now. So you can just fly and, you know, and just move to somewhere where you want it. And I do sense here that you're just following your calling because you do have a Ten of Pentacles. Your back is facing, I know the King of Wands is Aries, but your back is facing here, Ten of Pentacles, um, from the, um, you know, for like, oh, I want that opportunity. And then yesterday, remember, I discussed with you guys, Jupiter is going to be in Taurus middle of this year. Do remember also, I do say Daryl astrology, not Western. So your Western does not apply here because you look at the stars right now, Jupiter is in Aries, plain and simple. That's ideal. We didn't change it as above, so below. So if it's in Jupiter and Aries, it's in your 12th house. That's why you have foreign land here. Okay, so I don't follow Western because that's based on the season here. I base it from the sky to below. Okay, because that's how it is. If it happens there, it will happen here. So that's why you have a foreign land here. Money comes to you, but later time of this year. Knight of Swords is here. The Knight of Swords is someone who's rushing to talk to you, explaining themselves because they did, uh, you know, they were very much distant, you know, in the situation. They were not really giving you anything. And that's why you realize it's like, eh, no, you know. So. Realize also that there are other astrology and sidereal Vedic astrology is actually 5000 BC. Okay, so for people is not aware of what I follow. You have the death card. Ooh, okay. Death card is big changes in your life. See, I told you, you can just say, it's like, you know what? It is what it is. Let's be done and over with it. I'm, you know, you have no qualms with removing this person uh, from your life because there was no clear direction because you have the death card here, no clear direction of where it's headed, you know, so there's not much communication and communication is key, of course, with the uh, um, six of swords here. Um, you're the only one who's pushing this relationship and this, your person, it can be a younger air sign as well. Are you mad? Are you upset? No, I don't think so. Because the first card is the strongest, which is the sun card. You're looking forward to this success. It's coming to you, Taurus. So you just have to kind of, you know, like uh, weather the storm until Jupiter goes to Taurus. Jupiter, you know, in a Venus, ha uh, Venus uh, sign, because Jupiter and Venus, they're not friends. So it may be a time for you where, you know, you will grow wisdom on what kind of relationship that you cultivate. Okay. Venus is pleasure seeking. They're both gurus. Um, Venus is more of an equal guru, meaning it, you know, it wants to share to everyone, but Jupiter can be very dogmatic. So this is the part where I'm seeing that the changes that you're going to do to yourself is more of like, well, this is what I should be doing the whole time. And you won't, you know, you won't be flexible. I know you are a fixed sign also. That's why for you, I say if it's over, it's over. Hi. 
I'm Sal. That's Sal too. Four years ago, zero money and zero love. I went to my healing though, and I found out a little secret. Double Piao helps. This is our specific crystals that is made to manifest love and protect your money. Go get yours at itchylove.me. What is over also, guys, is our, today's the last day. If you're watching this on the 31st, our love and money stack bracelet. So this one right here, together with this one, you can get it at 60% off. Today's the last day. Don't wait anymore. We do free shipping in the US and we also um, ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Um, what else did we do? We do have free classes for this. This is a double Piao and it comes with a citrine and obsidian. And for me, this has uh, shown so much uh, how to go. This like, uh, it has worked with my energy so much, especially with regards to money, honey, okay? Oh, the tower and the justice. So what is not fair? What is not done? Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. So there's something that is not fair here. Okay. This is what you're saying. It's like a... Now I do see here that, oh, you're definitely cutting people left and right. Seven of Wands is here not open for reconciliation even though it could be on the table and it's giving more of your practical approach meaning you're just more logic you know you need your time you need your space and not you're not trying basically you have a six of cups here and a two of pentacles this has been a cycle in this relationship but you're probably breaking a cycle seven of wands and then the world is here so the world is completion. So you're basically saying here, it's like, it is what it is between you and them. And if it would have sailed, Six of Swords, it would have sailed already. So that's the whole logic part of it. And the Seven of Wands is you again. And again, this, I'm just focusing on your energy first because you have worked hard to be where you're at. You're very passionate with it, Seven of Wands. And the Six of Cups over here is showing, you know, like there were times that you probably... Um, uh, Okay, they're probably, because the Six of Cups is here, you know, you're probably like before they can ease their way back into your life, they could probably like, oh, try, you know, to be like, oh, sweet nothings, basically. You would have bought that before, but, you know, it's a, it's an, it's a Taurus 2.0 right now. I mean, it's a Taurus 2024 at this point. And you feel this, you feel the energy of hope with the Sun card every day that Jupiter gets closer to your sign. Okay. Now, of course, on your person's end with the Knight of Swords, they have an urgent message to you, which you probably will receive anytime soon. I would want to focus on their, um, of course, their energy. But as what you guys know, Eatred Love is a jewelry brand and I'm very busy. These are handmade. I make this myself every day. So I would have to go to the store also. But tomorrow we'll touch your subject again. Visit our website, eatreadlove.me.